Hi. Hi. I'm Jimmy. Oh my God. And that's Nini. Hey. Hello. We're with the rigging company. Awesome. We're going to talk about the inner four stay storage system okay. and a removable inner four stay, which goes hand we in hand. We might have to talk a little louder just because of these guys. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. I will talk louder. Excellent. Okay, we're going to talk about inner four stay storage and inner four, inner four stay deployment when you have a removable inner four stay, which is the okay. case here on Bubbles, which is a fast passage 39. Excellent. Now, this is the funky, clunky lever. Funky and clunky. We always recommend keeping this down below. Okay, Can you guys hear that? Keep this down below. <laughs> it's kind of big and cumbersome, so. But when you need it, you come up on the foredeck. And uh, we're going to go over here yep. to the inner force bay, which is currently stored. Stored on this little cable. That's the actual stay. Mm -hmm. And this is the storage block and tackle. First thing we gotta do is disconnect it from the storage block and tackle. I'm gonna sort that out so it's not so twisted. So here's your stay. You know, as a good bowman, you always want to look up, make sure you're clear, and you can see I'm twisted inside of the housing. Mm -hmm. Fix that right now. We'll go up to the bow. Okay. Okay. You see, you have two fast pins here that we equip it with. Mm -hmm. One here and one at the top. The one at the top is meant to go to this eye. Okay. Now fast pins are just that, they're fast pins. So you got to make sure they're seated properly okay. because it's easy for them to become dislodged. And you come over here, you're going to release this actually three fast pins, but this is the one that comes with the lever. Okay. It allows the lever to kind of flop open like this. I like to put the lever facing aft, not forward. Okay. Because if it's forward, it makes a little trap for the sheets. Got it. So these, you still want to be in between Sorry, your chip second. sheets. I just have to get just line off the, the sheet. Sometimes the configuration allows, makes it so that it's off to one side. Okay. I like to do this with the clevis pins facing opposite of gravity. Okay, that makes sense. Move that up here, push that in here. Now this is pre-tensioned, right? Okay. You should be able to just take this lever and lock it up against it, okay. which is pretty good. And this doesn't ever tend to get caught on sheets and pull out or... They're... You'll notice, it would be, like I said, ideal if it could be in this configuration, mm -hmm. but because we want to have a toggle at the bottom. Sure. It unfortunately rotated at 90 degrees because of the direction of the chain plate. Okay. If the chain plate was this way, you wouldn't have that problem. Okay. We think all four stays should have toggles at the bottom as well as up at the top of the mast okay. to allow for articulation for the sail load without putting fatigue on the wire. Sure, yeah, makes sense. So anyways, you always want to make sure that this lever is locked in, otherwise it'd have a tendency if the sheets do get trapped in here. This is a pretty nice round corner. It'll okay. pop off there. Okay. One thing you can do to if you notice this becomes a trap, mm -hmm. it's just come up here with a roll of tape and tape this down to make a little smooth ramp for the sheets. Okay, in case you guys didn't hear that, if you do get sheets caught on here, you can come up and put some tape around here and create, you know, a oh, little situation. Fairy. Yeah. You got your wrench on you? Yeah. 